Today, we're talking about a number that might just shape the future of our planet, two degrees Celsius. It sounds small, but it holds enormous weight. And as we pass the halfway mark of 2025, that promise is starting to look dangerously empty. Let's rewind a bit. The two degrees Celsius limit became a global climate target back in 2009 when scientists and world leaders agreed. If Earth warms more than two degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, the consequences could be catastrophic. We're talking about rising seas swallowing cities, extreme heat waves becoming normal, mass crop failures, and entire ecosystems collapsing. In 2015, nearly every country signed the Paris Agreement, pledging to keep warming well below 2 degrees Celsius and to aim for 1.5 degrees Celsius if possible. Fast forward to today, mid-2025. The world has already warmed about 1.2 to 1.3 degrees Celsius on average, but in some regions, the number is much higher. Last year, 2024, was officially the hottest year ever recorded. Again, glaciers are shrinking faster. Wildfires are burning longer. And oceans are warming at rates we didn't predict. What's worse, we're on track to cross 1.5 degrees Celsius temporarily within the next few years, maybe even sooner, and hit 2 degrees Celsius by the early 2030s, unless we take bold action. So. If 2 degrees Celsius is slipping away, should we just give up? Absolutely not. Every fraction of a degree still matters. At 1.5 degrees Celsius, coral reefs mostly die. At 2 degrees Celsius, nearly all of them are gone. At 1.5 degrees Celsius, millions suffer from water stress. At 2 degrees Celsius, hundreds of millions do. This is about tipping points, crossing invisible lines that could trigger feedback loops we can't reverse. The good news? We still have tools to pull back, renewable energy is growing fast, communities are adapting, and young people are refusing to stay silent. But governments need to act faster, and industries need to shift harder. This isn't about saving a number. It's about saving lives, livelihoods, and the kind of world we want to leave behind. So let's not wait for the line to be crossed. Let's hold it together. If you found this video helpful, like and share it. And don't forget to subscribe for more climate stories that matter.